straight out of the year. How are you today? I hope you are happy. I'm fine. Well, today is Thursday, the 20th of August. We are going to work. Uh, remember, you have to hand in composition number three today. Yes. And we're going to check pages 62, 63, and 64 for the exam maximizer. And please open your files because I have sent you uh, your corrections, of course, to the students that handed in. Uh, please, hand in homework on time. Yes? Porque si no tenemos una bolsa de tarea atrasada y a mí se me hace un desastre con el trabajo y no puedo cumplir. ¿Se entiende? Entonces... Eh, entreguen los trabajos en tiempo y forma por respeto a los alumnos que están entregando en tiempo y forma el que entrega se le corrige abre ahora por favor open your file and check the correction checking correction is very important in this way you will go on yes advance on writing for example is it clear so please check your corrections okay Um, el tema de las delay homework, yo no acepto porque no quiero, sino por respeto a los chicos que entregan en tiempo y forma y a mí se me desorganiza el trabajo, porque nosotros tenemos mucha demanda por semana de correcciones, entonces no me pueden estar entregando cosas de las vacaciones, imposible, yes, ok, so be serious, be responsible please, ok, bueno, Um, vamos a repasar articles, attitude adverse, surprisingly, likely, strangely, must own examples, do and make collocations, so you have to write um, collocations and new vocabulary en tu cuaderno de la A a la Z, el que tenías que hacer con todo el vocabulario. Hay gente que ya está haciendo. Ok, uh, writing uh, article, pages 108, 109, 110 from the classroom. And as homework, you will do page 64, 1 y 2, solamente de que dice use of English. Página 65 del activity book. Vas a escribir el article que dice aquí. You have sent the following announcement in an international magazine. We are going to publish a series of articles, great writers or artists from around the world. Who is your favorite writer, painter, musician, etc.? Send us your article and we'll include the best one in the series. Write your article. So you have to write an article about your favorite painter, writer, musician. Yes, is it clear? Uh, 120 words is okay. Yes? All right. So, uh, that was it. Yes, and composition number four from the list. So you have a composition from the active, from the exam maximizer, maximizer, and uh, composition number four from the list. Yes, okay. So let's go to page uh, 62, page 62, okay. Desde speaking. Acuérdate que a veces te digo, hace solamente hasta acá uno y dos de la parte speaking, okay. Speaking, let go, let's go there. Ok, 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 ok. Well. Uh, one. A, three. B, two. Yes. Two. A, one. Four. Two, because. Three, about. Four, reason. Five, that's. Six instance, for instance, yes. Seven opinion, eight don't, don't you think? B strongly, how, say, like, four, yes, okay. Exercise uh, three. Sorry, let's go to vocabulary. Um, Script, orchestra, novel, rehearsal, chapter, musician, character, painter, conductor, audition, pilot, illness. Okay? And uh, page 64. Complete the sentence with words from activity one. Script, number two, plot, number three, orchestra. Number four, uh, characters. 
Number five, characters. Number six, novels. Number seven, musician. And number eight, rehearsals. Rehearsals and lines. Okay. Composition number four, number um, four from the list. You have to write an essay. Will life be different in the future? This is longer, between 140 and 190 words. Uh, and the must words, prison, improvements, technological, yes. You must highlight, get used to pass ING. I think people will get used to pollution, for example. However, transport, work natural resources, uh, while it is true that I uh, used to mass condition, uh, conditional three, passive voice, give up. At least one example each, okay? So that is an essay. Suppose um, you don't remember how to write an essay. Well, you will go to the writing reference. And you will see, yes, an article, report, review, yes, letter of application, yes, okay, is it clear? Good. There you have an article, good. And number one, essay, you have essay on page 164, yes, okay, and you have the morals of an essay. Yes, refer to the statement, yes, do use appropriate semi-formal, semi-informal, perdón, semi-formal style, add details to support the point of view you have introduced in the introduction, formal linking devices, yes, in addition, however, and then at the end, of course, you have to put an opinion, yes, okay? Entonces, el S, si no te acuerdas cómo se escribe, página 154, revisas primero y ves todos los modelos, ¿sí? Introducción, nudo y desentrasente, yes? Introduction, body and ending, yes, the ending, you must write your opinion, yes, introduction, firstly, first of all, giving opinion, some people think that, giving opinion for me, I think, I believe, Given reasons, this is because, for example, for instance, yes, contrast, although, however, in contrast, yes, on the other hand, on the one hand, on the other hand, yes, is it clear? Well, so, uh, shall we go to page 108, yes, 108, 109, and 110, yes, okay, is it clear? Good, good, good. Right? So, um, so can you tell me which is the um, the most interesting restaurant you have eaten in. First of all, do you like, go, this is the part that you have to talk, you have to give your opinion at home. Yes, okay. So which is the best restaurant you have eaten in? Yes. First of all, do you like eating at restaurants? Yes, okay. And I will show you um, a chef cooking a special meal Yes, and um, I want you to tell me if you know this meal, you know this dish, yes, okay, he's cooking that dish, this is a special dish he's cooking, yes, okay, would you like to risk your life eating this special dish? Yes, okay. This is called, do you know the name? Yes, yes. This is called fugu. Yes, it has a special, it has the name, but it's called fugu. Tiene su nombre específico. Yes, okay. Uh, 
it is written of some place they are, yes, but it's more commonly called fugu, yes, and the thing is that, this is the question, would you like, would you put in risk your life by eating this dish, it is delicious, only some chefs, yes, uh, are uh, in charge of cooking this, better to say, are um, prepared, yes, to cook this, not, uh, not all the chefs can cook this um, food, fish, yes, and the thing is that it has poison inside, yes, so they have to know how to take out, how to remove this poison from uh, this fish and, well, it has, I don't know, a special uh, way they cook, but it's, it is really delicious. My question is, could you put your life in risk? Yes, could you risk your life? Yes, uh, would you enjoy eating this uh, fish, this fugu? I wouldn't do that because uh, I would be always afraid. I wouldn't try it because I, I wouldn't try it because I'm afraid. I, would, I will be thinking, yes, it, oh my God, is there, is there any little poison? there yes but it's very poisoned yes and if you eat it and it is at least a little of the poison you can die yes but that's why only some chefs some cooks uh, are uh, specialized for cooking this kind of fish yes so um do you like going to restaurants do you like uh uh, do you enjoy your time uh, going to restaurants? Do you spend a good time? So, uh, we're going to read, yes, have you eaten in a very luxurious restaurant? Yes, uh, can you name this restaurant and describe it and say why you like you liked it or not? Yes, okay. So, you're going to read, yes, but first of all, antes de que me olvide, before I forget, yes, um, please, 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 open your file, yes, open your files, yes. Um, I have already explained, arrive in, arrive at, at, pardon, eh, todas las eh, 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 mistakes, but I have sent you uh, the corrections from the last um, homework, so please open your file and see your mistakes. I want to say it again, because it's necessary that you move. Yes, and you have less mistakes, yes, at this time of the year. Okay, well, um, so we are going to read exercise two. Read about an unusual restaurant and decide if you'd like to go there. What could possibly go wrong with your meal and the service? Okay, so um, what you can see, what we can see in the picture is a robot serving. And I don't know when you travel, for example, uh, I have seen in many programs that there are places where you are served uh, and also in a cruise, yes, um, where you are served, yes, drinks and food by a, drug, a robot. So which things do you think um, will uh, would go wrong, yes, if you have this uh, kind of service, yes, okay? Read it, I'm going to check, yes. So stop the video, I will go to the answers. Yes, okay. Yes, well, well okay. So the robots uh, can have, uh, can have, um, I don't know, a mis can misunderstand what you have asked, yes? and can bring you uh, another kind of food, not the one you asked. Um, well, what else? Um, what else could happen? Mm. Well, for example, um, 
Well, misunderstand, yes, what you have asked, yes, okay, serve another kind of uh, food, not the one you asked, uh, but um, I don't know what other thing, because they are, they are prepared, yes, for this kind of uh, service, um, and they are uh, technological, uh, they, um, uh, prepared, technologically prepared for serving you, so I don't think many things could go wrong, yes, with this service, yes, okay, but which one do you prefer? Do you prefer uh, being served uh, by uh, a person or by a robot, or is it the same for you? Yes, well, perhaps I would like to be served, served by a person, yes, uh, what about the complaints? Uh, if there was a misunderstanding in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the food that you have asked, yes, okay, you can complain, uh, the robot will understand you, yes, because it could be easier for me to complain with a, a human, yes, but well, think about it. Exercise three, we are going to do exercise three and five, and you're going to read about food to die for, and you're going to read about fugu, Yes, and you have to say why is it dangerous, dangerous, and why do you think people enjoy eating it? Okay, so do it. Yes, okay, and um, complete the text. You have to complete the text then in exercise six with a and or zero article. Okay, so you will do exercise three, exercises three, five. Read the text, answer the questions, and do and um, then complete with a and or zero article. Is it clear? So now is the time. I have already talked about Fugu, so you will have an idea. Yes, so now is the time that you pause the video, I continue, yes, and then listen to the answers. You then listen to the answers, okay? Well, exercise three. One, a robot, A. Two, food, zero article, the robot, the for Thailand, zero, five, the offer of different, the, six, clever, dance moves, zero, seven, the most, the, eight, the food, the. Remember you use the when you, um, when you're talking, talking about a specific thing, yes, okay? And Eoan, when you are naming for the first time, yes, a thing. We use the with nouns where there is only one, the sun, for example, the moon. Yes, we also use the with the names, the United States, the Alps, the United Kingdom. So this chart must be highlighted or underlined, the, the main things, the examples. Um, mountains, the uh, rivers, the Thames, yes, okay. Well, and well, the thing is, um, and when you want to make the thing specific, for example, the people in Argentina, yes, you don't say Argentinian, you say Argentinian when you're talking in general, but if you say the people in Argentina, yes, you want eat barbecue, yes, okay, you want to make it specifically, is it clear? So, let's go to exercise five because it contains poison which has to be removed before eating, what I have said before, what I have told you before, and because it is delicious. That's why many people want to eat it, yes, okay? However, it is very uh, poison, and oh my God, you can put your life in risk, yes? People consider, uh, people think, consider it is very delicious, so they continue eating it. But they, are, they know, yes, that a uh, special chef, a qualified chef, chef is going to, uh, well, that the fugu is going to be cooked by a, by a qualified chef, yes, qualified. Number six, one, zero article, you say, in Japan. Number two, the most delicious when you are introducing uh, superlatives. Number three, a very strong poison. Number four, the part of the fish that contains la parte específica, la que contiene ta ta ta. Yes, number five, the poison. Six, zero. Seven, the best, otra vez un superlativo. And eight, un. Yes, okay. 
And then the question, could you like, uh, in exercise seven, to try fugu? We have already talked about that. What specialities in your country would foreign, foreigners find rather strange to eat? Well, people may be, when they come to Argentina, they are not used to eating, for example, um, asado, the way Argentinian people cook. So uh, it could be um, strange for them, but they, 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 all the same, they try it because this is a typical food for Argentina, yes, and the way we cook. Um, well, on the last, previous last page, we are going to go to, um, we are going to go to uh, something that I have to show you. These are called collocations. And now we have the collocations with make and do. Whenever you have uh, some specific words, you know, you have to know that some words like do, like homework, for example, you don't say I make homework, you say I do homework. Yes? Okay. Uh, you don't say I am doing my bed, you say I'm making. Yes? Can you make your bed? Yes? So, these words that go, for example, with specific words, are called collocations, yes? And you need to study these collocations by heart, yes, okay? Some of them you already know, yes? That's why I, um, that's why I choose it for you, yes? You can find many charts, but nowadays it's very easy to study and to advance on contents because you can Google, you can uh, a lot of information on the internet, so it is easier, easier to find examples, to find charts. Uh, those charts can be printed by you and you can uh, post it in your bathroom, on your wardrobe. Is it clear? So, uh, uh, do call housework, for example, do laundry, do the dishes. So you are going to choose the ones that are not known by you, and you by you and you're going to write, uh, for example, the and pa pa pa, yes, okay, and make in M, yes, okay, in tu cuaderno de la A la Z, in your notebook from A to Z, and set, and you're going to write one example, yes, okay, this is do housework, do the cooking, do the dishes, and then work study, do a report, yes, do a project, do a course in the UK, <coughs> yes, make, Make your bed, make room, yes? Okay, your grandma is coming, so we need to make make room for her, yes? Is it clear? Uh, make an arrangement, uh, make uh, a prediction, yes? Make an excuse, yes? Don't make excuses, yes? Don't make excuses. You need to do your homework, okay? Well, then you have taking care of your body, do gymnastics, do your hair, do your nails, yes, okay? Can you do me a favor? A favor? You don't say make me a favor. Do me a favor. Um, do well. Do something. Do everything. Do better. Then make food, drink, or meals. Make a cup of tea. Make a sandwich. Make a salad. Okay. So these words go uh, with this verb. So specific words that go with specific verbs are called collocations. Yes. Okay. Make your eyes uh, water. Make your happy. Make you happy. Uh, make your make you smile. Yes. Okay. These are for reaction. Make up. Make love. Yes. Okay. You don't do love, but you make love. Yes. Is it clear? So these are called collocations. And on page one hundred and nine, you are going to do exercises one and two, one and two, and then exercise five. Yes. Is it clear? So. From this page, you are going to do one and two, then five, and then I want you to highlight the talking. It says, which story do you think is the funniest? Funniest? Why? Tell your partner about a funny performance. And you have to say about a funny performance you have seen on stage. Yes, the funniest performance, uh, performance I saw on stage was um, when I went to see talk at the theater, yes, because, um, well, you never uh, imagine that one of the person that is there, because, well, you know, there is a group, I don't know if you have seen the, the film, but there is a group, yes, that is um, 
waiting for the psychologist, yes, because all of them have a, a, have a, a talk, yes, okay, in something, yes, okay, so they are waiting and waiting and waiting for him, yes, and then at the end, I, I'm not going to spoil it, yes, but then at the end they discover something, and that something, what, what was that, uh, the, the, the funniest thing for me, but uh, another funniest thing uh, was how uh, the characters, the actors and actresses perform, yes, um, in a very uh, real way, uh, human uh, emotions, yes, okay? So uh, that, that was a funny, a funny thing for me. It was a, a, a dramatic, but at the same, it was a drama, but at the same time, it was a funny thing, yes? Okay, well, now it's your turn. You have to say at home uh, the story, which story do you think is the funniest, first of all, about this, and then another funny performance you have seen, yes? Okay, at the theater, okay? Well, are you ready? So now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Um, do, make your list. Do someone a favor, do cooking. This chart is very, very, very nice. Yes, I really like it. It's very complete. complete. Uh, so do someone a favor, do cooking, do an experiment, do homework. Uh, a test, do best. Make a mistake, money, travel, an excuse, a wish, a noise, the most of a situation, make the most of a situation. Number two, making a noise. Yes, remember when you start a sentence, you have to put this sentence with in gerund, using gerund, ing. Make the most, made an excuse, conjugate the verbs, please. Do me a favor, did my best and made a wish. Yes, okay? And in exercise five, are you there? Okay, are you there? Number, um, good. Four, yes, exercise four, no. Five, one D, one D, two B, 3A, 4B, 5C, 6C, 7D, 8A. Yes, and say at home which performance was the funniest for you. Yes, and say another one, yes, that you have seen, yes, or you have seen before. You have seen before. Um, on the last page, yes, we're going, I'm going to project you, uh, project another thing, it's a festival, yes, okay, uh, Midsummer Festival in Sweden, and uh, it is a magical moment, because they wait for it, and they really spend a very good moment, yes, and you will see the pictures now, and try to describe these pictures at home. And on, in exercise one, it says, what sort of event do you think they are celebrating? Uh, in which country do you think, I have already spoiled it, yes, okay? Do you think the photo was taken? Um, are the, there events like this in your country? Yes, okay. And you are going to do, uh, read the article. Yes, you are going to do exercise two, yes? And exercise five, yes, okay. In exercise five, you're going to um, write examples using adverbs, yes, attitude, attitudes, adverbs. Luckily, I could finish my test, yes. Strangely, he didn't arrive on time, yes, okay. Personally, I believe he's not going to pass this year, this exam. Surprisingly, she got pregnant, pregnant. Fortunately, all my students passed the exam. Fortunately, all my student ha students handling the composition. Hmm. Okay, well, so let's go to the pictures, okay? Right? 
you know? They are dancing around a pole. Yes, okay. And, well, you know, you have, I have already said this is a festival. Yes, uh, and it is in Sweden. Yes, uh, a midsummer, a magical midsummer. It's called um, Midsummer Festival. It has a name. Yes, okay. Midsummer Fe Swedish Midsummer Festival. Yeah, and uh, it has a lot of history. You can Google it. Yeah, but um, shortly I will say that uh, it is a very it is a traditional to celebrate this festival. Um, they celebrate this festival to say goodbye, yes, to winter because they have a long winter, yes, and they say hello, yes, to um, summer. Yes, there are a lot of people. Yes, they have picnics. Yes, oh my god, this is very nice. Look at the river there, water near the water. Yes, okay. And you, they, they have a picnic with their family. They get together with friends. Yes, okay, they spend a good time. And you know, they wear, they wear um, sp um, special um, traditional clothes, yes, from the country. Um, well, they decorate the things with, with a, this, this, this was the one I was going, this is a traditional um, clothes, yes, from the country, so they wear traditional dresses, clothes, yes, okay, there they are, they sing, they dance, I can't add a picture, the one that were. Well, it wasn't this, the one I chose. Let's see, let me see. But um, there is a traditional dance where you, you, can you see the pole? There is a pole there and many people dance around the pole. Yes, and they pretend to be frogs. And it is called the, um, the little frogs and it has a name. In, the language yes the little frogs and they have to dance around the pole the, this pole yes and they have to pretend they are um they are frogs yeah so they spend a good time with friends yes they have picnics yes they dance this is the pole so they dance everybody dance around the pole and uh, it is a, a very traditional dance the little frog Yes, so they have to pretend to be frogs, yes, okay? But it is, it is um, um, associated with uh, um, the, the end of the long winter and uh, the coming of the summer, yes? Is it clear? So they wear traditional clothes, yes, they dance, they have a good moment there, yes? So you're going to read the text now after the, this kind of introduction. Yes, and we are going to finish with this page. Yes, I have already explained the homework. Yes, okay, you are going to do composition number um, four from the list. Y sigue la seguidilla de página seis, escribir ejemplos con phrasal verbs, pero ahora los phrasal verbs de la página 153. Vamos yendo por página, ok? Is it clear? Good, la página 153. El ejercicio es escribir frases con phrasal verbs, pero con, los, um, con la página, con los phrasal verbs de la página 153, en este caso, this class, ¿ok? Y queda también un writing, que es un article, ese cortito, porque el más largo es la composition for, the essay, un article sobre un writer, painter, yes, a famous writer, painter, 120 words, yes, ¿ok? Well, uh, Yes, the quadernisia page, the examples there. Okay, so we are going to read a magical midsummer. Yes, okay, now is the time that you stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Okay? Well, uh, read the exam task and tick which of the things from 1 to 8 do you think you should do when writing the article. This is very important. Yes, okay. Are you ready? Good. So we have two, three. 
One, two, five, six, and seven. One, two, five, six, and seven. So you have to use informal style. Start with an interesting title or first sentence that calls the attention of the reader. Yes, refer to own reactions. Yes, make sure your paragraphs lead on logically from each other. Yes, don't include um, ideas that you, have, you haven't named before. Is, before, is it clear? So use a lot of long, complex sentences. So the more vocabulary you use, the more complex sentences you use, the perfect, um, the most interested it could be. Yes, okay. Well, um, number five, I have already given my sentences, so you have to write, luckily, yeah, she got pregnant, strangely, he didn't appear, he didn't come, strangely, somebody, my God, took my wallet. Yes, personally, I believe uh, you will pass the exam. Surprisingly, any of my students are uh, handling Yes, the test. Fortunately, I have finished. Yeah? Okay. Well, happy weekend. See you next class. Bye-bye.